I peeled and deveined two pounds of medium shrimp. And then I took the shells, some bay leaves, Cajun seasonings, and some vegetables, and I made me some fresh seafood stock. Let's make some shrimp gravy. Let's get started. And here I got a half a cup of butter and a half a cup of all-purpose flour. You can use whatever you'd like to make the roux with. It's just equal parts by weight, flour and fat. For shrimp, I just make a blonde roux. I just want to get that raw flour taste out of it. It's about, about 10 minutes. There's a medium onion, a cup of celery, one green bell pepper, one red bell pepper, a tablespoon of minced garlic or three cloves, a teaspoon of Louisiana crab ball, a teaspoon of black pepper, and about a teaspoon of fresh thyme. Add about a teaspoon of Lee and Perrin. About eight ounces of tomato sauce. I'll add four cups of this fresh shrimp stock and then we'll stir it all in, put the lid on and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. Okay, it's been simmering about 30 minutes. We'll give it a good stir and add the juice from one lemon. You can also add some more seasoning salt if you need to. Gonna let it go about another 15 minutes then add the shrimp. It's been simmering another 15 minutes. Now you just need to taste of it and check, make sure the vegetables are as tender as you like them. We got this shrimp. It's been marinated in smoked pep paprika, cayenne, black pepper, and a little bit of parsley, and some garlic salt. We're gonna add these in, stir them in, put the lid on for five minutes. Can't cook these shrimp long without taste like rubber. All right, here it is. That's what it already looked like. Let's see what it tastes like. I'm dipped out. Only thing left to add now is some of this zippy zap. Now you can add that in the pot if you want to. I like it. Tastes, it tastes better to me when I add it on my plate. Y'all see there? I went out there and picked me some fresh habaneros. It's starting to sleep. Y'all believe that? Mmm. Some good stuff. 